to the million dollar question. What is the number one way to defeat the narcissist? I'm glad you asked. <laughs>
it hinders you from a productive and fulfilling life. And that is exactly what the narcissist wants to keep others down. See, they, they're not constructive individuals. They are destructive. They don't build you up. They only like to tear and break others down. And when I say that, I'm talking about break you down completely. And so that's why the number one way to defeat them is to forget about it. Forget about it. Let them go on about their business. Let them go on about their life. And as unfortunate as it is, they're just making someone else's life a living hell. And when that is over, they'll just continue that cycle and enter someone else's life and make their life a living hell. That anguish, that angst, that you'll carry around thinking about how you can defeat the narcissist and beat them at their own game. And what can I do? And how can I mm -mm. redirect and allocate all of that thought and energy and precious and valuable time on you and your healing? and your joy, and your peace, and your freedom, and your well-being. This is what we must do. This is what we've got to do as a means to enjoy the wonderful and beautiful life. Although life has its ups and its downs, be it with a narcissist or not, we have our ups and downs in life, right? And the ebbs and the flows. With that, life is still precious. Life is still a blessing. And it's worth living in a joyful and peaceful way. And to be with someone, it would and should really be, if anyone, someone who has your best interest at heart. Someone who will love and respect you and support you someone who enjoys seeing you successful, someone who will build you up, not someone who will break you down, someone who enjoys seeing a smile on your face and someone who indeed will do what it takes to even put a smile on your face. And even when there are times that you are sad and crying about something, that that person will be the one to wipe away your tears. Not someone who will cause you to cry. This is someone who has a beautiful heart and a beautiful soul, just as you do. The narcissist does not fit that bill. And that's just the truth of the matter. I mean, that is a harsh reality. And many of us have learned that, albeit the hard way, but then there are others of us who are yet in the process of still learning that part of the lesson. And that's okay. That's okay because we are all in this together. You are not alone. The thing is, we don't have to call a loser a loser simply because we know that they're one. When you consider their fate and the karma that they eventually face for all of their dirty work, in the grand scheme of things, they ultimately end up with the short end of the stick, which is what they brought to the relationship to begin with. In addition to all the malfeasance and monkey business, which is the polar opposite to the perfect and distinguished and loving and kind companion that they presented at the very start. So just try not to fold, right? When they try to do or say something to get at you and to irritate you and to cause you to react, don't fold. There is an effective tool. It's an exercise that I did 
some time ago, and it was extremely helpful. Put pen to paper, write down every insult that you can think of. Number one, write it down. Number two, write it down. Write down every gaslighting incident that you can think of. I mean, every negative interaction, everything that you can think of that made you feel a certain way or put you in an emotional or mental space that you didn't want, need, or deserve to be in, write it down. When I did it, I'll never forget. I started that list, filled up one, side of the page, flipped it over, filled up that side of the page, and started yet another page, and it was about half. That's much more than I bargained for. I didn't sign up for that, but who does? Who does? But all in all, that tool is very helpful. It will allow you to release all of the thoughts that may congest your mind and that you may be carrying around, you're releasing it. It allows you to see what all it was that you did accept and receive from the narcissist. You know, long gone are those days. That's it, that's all. It takes some weight off of you. You know, it helps you to have a clearer mind so that you can have clarity. It's a tool that'll certainly help you in more ways than one. Yeah, that's what I wanted to share today. And yeah, so again, when you think about that million dollar question and what the answer to that million dollar question is, right? Let's just run it back once more. What is the number one way to defeat the narcissist? And the answer to that million dollar question is, forget about it. Forget about it. Because the narcissist is already defeated. I really hope that this helps you in a major way. And what I wanted to share with you also is that I have included a healing journey assessment on to my website, get pen and paper and go through it one question at a time and go from there. There are also other goodies there as well. Um, I have my book there and also some inspirational t-shirts that I also think you'll love. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, no matter what it is that the narcissist may have said to you or done to you, don't even give them no more time, energy, emotion, none of you. They didn't deserve any aspect of you to begin with, not even a moment of your time. Keep smiling, keep shining, remain the loving and beautiful person that you are inside and out. Stay watchful, stay prayerful. That is so important. Like that is so key. And yeah, so I love you and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Remember that Jesus is love and compassion is body.